Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about two different types of standards. The first one is POSIX DAT1 FIPS standard and the XOPEN standard. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of these two different standards. So first one is the POSIX.1 FIPS standard. So FIPS stands for Federal Information Processing Standard. So why we use this standard? The FIPS standard is a restriction of POSIX.1, right? We are, we are using a POSIX.1 standard, right? If you want to know more about POSIX.1 standard, the li uh, link is in the description, right? So this FIPS, uh, Federal Information Processing Standard, is a restriction of uh, it having some changes, right? This FIPS standard is having some changes, right? And it requires the following features to be implemented in all FIPS confirming system. Suppose if you are using a FIPS standards, right? So these features should be implemented without miss, right? So what are the features that should be implemented in your systems if you are using a FIPS standards? See, we can see the features now. So job control, if you are using a FIPS standard in your system to write the programming for your Linux operating system, uh, if you are using a FIPS standard, job control is must, it should be supported. Hope you are understanding guys, right? Next, if uh, saved set user ID and saved set GID options should be available if you are using a FIP standards for your uh, Unix programming, right? Hope you are understanding. So saved set uh, user ID and uh, saved set uh, GID means so if uh, there should be uh, option should be there to create a user ID for different different users and there should be a option for creating a different different groups for different different users so this uh, feature is must job control feature saved set uh, user id and saved set uh, group id features are must if you are using a fip standards for your systems right next posix ch1 restricted must uh, must be defined so ch1 restricted means uh, the feature uh, to change the ownership of the file you that this option should be there so ch1 restricted what it does means uh, it allows you to change the ownership of the file if the uh, value is minus one for this ch1 uh, restricted you can change the ownership of the file so this feature should be there if you are using a FIP standard if you want to change the ownership of the file you can change it without any problem getting guys next POSIX V disable symbol must be defined. If you want to write remove the special effects of a particular keys uh, that should be possible, that's why you should use POSIX V disable. Special uh, behavior, how you, uh, what is the special behavior? Suppose if you press a brackets key in the keyboard, right? Uh, simply if you press the brackets uh, key the angular brackets will be displayed if you press shift plus bracket flower brackets will be displayed that is a special effect you can disable this type of uh, special behavior so right this feature should be there if you are using a fifth standard for your system that is supported using a POSIX V disable next the n group max symbol value must be at least 8 so it is going to tell about the maximum value right to uh, to create the groups right maximum groups you can create so at least the maximum value to create the group should be 8 at least 8 groups should be created if you are, that's why if you are using a fifth standard hope you are understanding guys if you are using a fifth standard you should be in a position to create the at least 8 groups Right, these things are must if you are using a fifth standard, right, for your system. Next, the read and write API should return the number of bytes that have been transferred after the APIs have been interrupted by signals. 
so if you are using ship standards if you are doing any read operation or a write operation using uh, api when that uh, read operation is stopped or when that write operation is stopped it should display the message that is how many number of uh, bytes that is written or that is how many number of bytes that is read so that message should be displayed if you are using a fib standard right anybody uh, if they use a fib standard for their uh, system programming they should know these things right these features are must they should uh, right uh, give these features to the users if they are using their system uh, right next lastly the group id of a newly created file must inherit the group id of its containing directory so these features should be there for the user if he is uh, using your system uh, and if you are using a fib standard the group id of a newly created file must inherit the group id of its containing directory so if you create a file the yes, uh, automatically the group id for id for that file it will be the same of the directory's group id so what is the group id of the directory that group id we only copy it to that particular new file also right same group ids will be there getting guys hope you are understanding suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so if you want to know about this job control posix uh, ch1 restricted posix v disable uh, sorry v disable the uh, right these things are uh, explained in the video uh, feature test macros and the link is there in the description right and one more thing i already told you this the fifth standard is more restrictive version of posix1 standard fifth c is also like posix1 only it supports most of the features of posix.1 but uh, not all the features it is restrictive version if it is if it take hundred only 80% of the features can be supported in fips right next the x bar open standards x open standards so the x open organization was formed by a group of european companies why they formed this european companies why they formed this x open organization means to propose a common operating system interface for the computer system uh, so to, they, they want to propose a interface common interface for their computer system in european countries uh, they want all the systems to use the same interface common interface for example now we are using a windows right or unix right that is a common interface everybody wants to follow the same rules same standard that's why to achieve that portability you need that uh, same interfaces right whatever the changes you do same others also can do the same changes thereby they we can achieve portability without any problem that's why to achieve that portability to achieve that uh, right uh, mobility they propose this mainly their uh, aim is to create a operating system same operating system that can be used by different different countries the portability guides specify a set of common facilities that is c application program interface function to be provided on all unix based open systems so why they did this means i already told you for portability to achieve that portability uh, how they are going to achieve that portability means so all the set of common facilities and c application program interface functions to be provided on all unix based open system all unix based open system should provide the same facilities thereby you can achieve the portability in 1973 a group of computer vendors initiated a project called common open software environment right in 1973 vendors computer vendors uh, right what they did means they initiated a project called common open software environment so what is the goal of this why they did this the goal of the project was to define a single unix programming interface specification that would be supported on all by all type vendors for example uh, vendors uh, they they have different different uh, machines right their uh, aim is to uh, all the machines should support the same interface then users can use all the machines without any problem right uh, my so one system can be from dell one system can be from intel even if the systems are from different different vendors 
uh, Dell also should support the Unix interface. Uh, Intel also should support the Unix interface. Or Asus also should support the same interface. Their aim was to aim was like that only. Even if the user machines are different, user vendor sorry vendors are different. Uh, see, right single Unix programming interface should be supported. Their goal was like that. Right, the application that confirmed to ANSYC and physics also confirmed to XOPEN standards. Obviously, if your system supports ANSYC and physics, it also supports XOPEN without any problems. But not vice versa. If your system supports XOPEN standard, I can't guarantee that it supports ANSYC and physics. But if your system supports ANSYC and physics, I can easily tell that it also supports XOPEN standards. But if it supports XOP only XOPEN standards, then I can't tell that uh, ANSYC and POSIX are supported. Right guys? So, hope you understood the concepts. This is a very small uh, topic. So, if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.